What, are you seeing something, dude? Yo, what is that? I don't know what that is. It's like an owl, dude. What, it says something? No way. That's insane. Like, not even insane. Like, a, that's wild, way. Like, that's just... What, you see something? What the hell is that? Yo, what is... Yo, what is that? Yo, take that, take that, take that. What is that? This is messed up. That is scary. The magician. I don't know if this means anything or if that's just their the cards they like. The fool. The moon. And then the sun. You want to check your phone there, Braden, just to see where we're going? Because it's been a little while. I still don't have service. Well, do you think we should ask somebody, like, where we're going? Because, like, I don't want to be, like, here all day, like, lost. Yes, uh, excuse me, miss. Uh, we can't seem to find the parking lot. We're a little lost. Can you point us in the right direction? Holy, holy, Braden, go, 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 Braden. Go, go, Braden. Are you seeing this right now? Like, dude, this is some sort of, like, ritual thing. There's, like, chalices and things. Like, what the hell is this, Brayden? You can give yourself up now. You got no place to run. There's nowhere to hide. Oh, Brayden, go, 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 go! Go, Brayden, go, Brayden. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, oh. Don't leave me. Don't leave me. Oh my god. Oh, oh f <sighs> Ready to go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, we gotta get off trail. We gotta get off trail. Okay. Wait for me. Brayden. I think he's gone now. Yeah, we'll go down the trail. Holy fudge, dude. That was messed up. Look, where did he come from? Like, down here?
forward? Dude, that's, I'm pretty sure that's the way out, bro. I think that's the way out. Because we've been walking in the same direction coming from this way the whole time for like hours, dude. That's so messed up. I still can't believe it. Like, So we've been lost in the woods all friggin' night. We're trying to get out of here. And like literally, so we ran away from this creepy lady with a cloak. And then we ended up, she freaking called, she did this, there was like some sort of call. Like she was pointing at the woods and then we could hear this like siren kind of noise, like, you know, calling the troops. And me and Brayden just booked it because we literally like, there were people coming. Like we could hear footsteps. We only seen one guy pass us though so far. So we have to keep going, man. Like there's no, there's no way. What are you seeing something, dude? Yo, what is that? I don't, I don't think so. What's that sound? Do you hear that? Yeah. Dude, I was think, that a car? Dude, I think we're getting close to the we're road. Getting close to the road. We're getting close to the road, dude. Sorry for bro, I'm blinding you with my light. Yeah, I don't know what that is. It's like an owl, dude. Yo, that's just weird. We have cruel intentions. What, it says something? On the inside of the book. No way. That's insane. Like, not even insane in like a, ooh, that's wild way. Like, that's just We have crazy. cruel intentions. And Brayden just spotted that on this owl that's like next to a tree. It almost makes me think of Randonautica. That's just weird, dude. Yeah, because the symbol. Like, did he? Did you see him stop? Like, did he stop by the tree? The I dude? I don't know. It was or you don't know? He was the only one with a flashlight. Yeah, I know. Fuck, dude. I had a flashlight, just couldn't use it for fear of death. Well, whatever you do, bro, just keep, just keep looking everywhere because he did go the same way that we're going, and I know. For a fact that if we just keep going, we'll get to the road, like I said, because we don't know where we're going. But we did hear cars. Like, we we are hearing cars, so we know that we're close to the road. We just have to keep going. Yeah, man. Yo. What, what? Can you see the moon through the camera? Oh, yeah, look at that. At least there's one good thing that came out of tonight. Yeah, I know. So we we know that we're getting, we know that we're getting out of here tonight. Which is a very good thing. I know. I just can't believe that this shit just keeps happening to us, man. Like, this is brutal. Like, we literally... All the stuff that we got tonight? Like, wasn't that insane? Like, a freaking ritual site, all this shit. Like, we, uh, I, we've never gotten anything like this before ever, Braden. This was a never. nightmare. I know it was <laughs> a nightmare. Like, and that's the thing. Like, I was, I was literally losing it on you, and I'm sorry about that, man. Like, I just... I. I don't like getting lost, but I, I, I have a good feeling. Like, we're hearing cars. Like, that's really, really good. Because we did not hear cars in the deep woods. Yeah, we did you. not we hear them. You, but we, we are still lost in the forest. I so know, I know, I, I know. I don't want to jinx it. I don't want to jinx it. That's for sure. I understand the panic, but hey, have you noticed the trillions? Yeah, yeah. There's, they're, they're everywhere here. Yeah. Like, which is crazy. So we've been seeing, like, Canada's flower all over these forests, as you can see. Oh, it's Ontario. Yeah, Ontario. They've just been everywhere. Sorry to examine it. Like, I just, I, I don't know what to think about all this, man. <clears throat> I'm literally just looking to see if this dude is out here somewhere. He's leaving things on the trail, man. I'm starting to wonder that too. Is that like because he wasn't running? No, he was. He walking. was like walking. That is so messed up. He's like leaving little trinkets. What is this? This is what is your birthday? Is it between September 23rd, October 22nd? Your zodiac sign is Libra. Libra means what is that? Scales. The stars in the sign Libra make this shape. A group of stars that makes a shape like this is called a constellation. Okay. Like 
Yeah, and there's like a little wheel here and things. This is like a children's oh, book. Yeah, is that what that is? Oh, okay. So that's what Libra is. Yeah. Yo. I just found a note. What does this say anyway? Have you heard the story of Libra? According to some myths, the scales of Libra belong to the constellation of Virgo. They sit at her feet in the night sky, and the ancient Romans believed that the two sides of the Libra scales represented balance and fairness in everyday life. And that's what the symbol looks like here. They almost look like, so these are, astro are, they, are those astrology symbols? Yeah. Okay, because yeah, I was going to say that looks like an astrology symbol that I'm familiar with. But we found this note anyway. We just keep getting weird and weird and weirder shit going on here. So we just found this note. It says, to whom it may concern, both our prophet and replacement are both now deceased. Yet we continue to move forward as planned. And then it says, we continue scavenging for food, but we are running short of supplies and resources. I'm so sick and tired of this, of starving, living like a wild animal, fighting and defending our land at night. If things don't improve, I'm leaving this damn group and all of its craziness that goes along with it. I'm done hiding from tourists, sleeping all day like a vampire. What does that say? I want more out of this life and this isn't it. And then at the bottom it says L.7 out, a.k.a. 7th star, and there's some weird symbol here. There's nothing on the dock. Do you think it's this guy leaving? Like, it almost seems like somebody quit. Do you think he's disposing of evidence? I hope not, dude. But this, this, no, it almost, it's almost, you know what it's like, though? It's almost as if this guy's quitting, like, the cult, and he's leaving. So maybe he's just, like, maybe he's not after us. Maybe he's just, maybe he's just leaving. Because that's what this sounds like. What caught my ear was the fact that the replacement is now deceased as well. Yeah, so, like, who's leading their group? You know what I mean? That's what I want to yeah, know. because we had Mother Mallory. Right? Yeah. And then it was Toby. That's what I heard too, and that'd be really weird if Toby is dead because we found so many things to do with him. And that's what I'm thinking. Is like, scattered. Does that note mean that Toby's dead? Yeah, yeah, like, I mean, that's what I would assume so. But, I mean, that's, that's exactly what it says, but like, I know. I'm just shocked. That is weird. Because, like, we've been chasing Toby for how long? A long freaking time. Like, we've found things to do with him all over the place. Not yeah. just these woods, but other woods that we've been across. All right, well, I'll put this off to the side. I don't know what else this guy has freaking left for us. This is just getting weirder and weirder. <sighs> yeah, this place is just... Next level stuff, dude. Like, next level stuff. I don't know what to think of any of this. No, honestly, because, like, we came in here searching for, what, like, clues? Well, we literally started here playing Randonautica, and now right? we're... <laughs> I don't even remember why we came in here. I just remember that, like, mm -hmm. we came in, and now... Yeah, like, we had... I know we had Randonautica out. We had Intense. Yeah, we had Randonautica We had Intense set. But, like, other than that, why are we here? I know. Well, bro, we got... How do we get here is what I'm saying. I know. It's just weird, dude. Like, really, really, really weird. And the worst part was when we were trying to find our way out, all we saw were, like, shapes and just weird shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know. This place is just creepy. Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bridge here, man. I hope so too, dude. I really do. I know, man. Like, I don't know what to think out of all of this. I'm still looking for that dude thinking he's gonna jump us. 
But I mean, I, if he was a dude that's quitting, that's, you know, could look good riddance, I guess. You bunch of psychos. What, you see something? What the hell is that? Yeah, like it was like shiny. Wait, let me see. Right here. It's just a block. What the f is that? It's like a little chest. It looks like from over here, dude. I don't know. It's like somebody left this here. Yeah, it's a chest. No way. What is this, guys? Okay. Thought I heard something, but no, we're good. We're good. It says edible medicinal plants of Canada. Yo, dude, I really think that people are living off the land out here, dude. Like, look at this. More than just living off the land. Edible, dude. edible medicinal plants of Canada. Like, they literally have like a little encyclopedia of plants, plants they eat, could plants eat. They yeah, I know. What is this? Let's check this out, dude. There's like a knife stash. There's actually weapons in here, Braden. Weapons? Uh, yeah. by the looks of things. Like, let me there's see this. Yeah, it looks like there's a wallet. I don't know if there's any money in there. wallet, some fool's gold. Oh, you saw fool's gold? Isn't that what this is? Or is that like gold shavings? That looks like gold shavings, but... I just found these, no like there's knives. Like, this is getting really, really weird. Okay, let's see this. There's a big freaking knife there. Yeah, dude, those are gold flakes. Like, look at that. So we just found this, uh, I don't know if it's a weapons cache, or like a little yeah, a survival cache, I don't really it's know. But we just found this knife. Yeah, there's something there, dude. Wait, so we just found this knife. Hold on. Check it out, check it out. Cause like there's we'll two knives in here. I'll I'm just gonna here. keep looking out because I don't know where that guy is. Cause we got two knives, a wallet. This makes me think like someone was stashing this to get out of here. Yeah. Like they're trying to, like like you said earlier, they're trying to go. I just keep getting weirded out because I keep thinking that stuff is left for us purposely or like. But that you this guy, weapon. I think this guy left this here. I straight up do, dude. I do think that this guy left us here. Apollo 11. Let's see. You found a space coin? That? Yo, that's weird. Okay, okay so we just found this Apollo 11 coin. And then on the back is the, uh, Ooh. I think it's like a moon lunar landing thing. What'd you find? There's like handcuffs on oh. the chain. Okay, so a handcuff chain. Was there anything else in the bag? Not that I saw. Okay, I'll give you that to you. So put back yeah, in the baggie. Yeah, let's put that bag in. Because if, like, if someone's cash, like, to escape, we don't want to mess with I that. don't want to tell... Yeah, I'm, I honest, I'm not, honestly... I'm not bringing any of this with us. I don't want to like, get stabbed. to you for escaping. Yeah. You know? So we're trying to do right now. Okay, here's another knife. I'm just trying to show you guys everything that's in here because this is really messed up. Literally found all this crap coming back to the yeah. car after Randonautica. Is there any ID in the wallet? I don't know. Yo, what is yo? What is that? Yo, take that, take that, take that. What is that? This is messed up. That is scary as. There's nothing in the wallet. Dude, there's like, this is them. This is them, bro. Yep. This is killers right here. This call. What does that say? Children from the stars. And then it says R. I can't believe we just found this. This is them. So we found all these things so far, guys, at the bottom here. Oh my god. Are there more tarot cards? This is absolutely terrifying. I can't believe we're finding all this. I've never come across this much stuff. Like, and the funny thing is we're coming home. Like we're actually just leaving. So this says the magician. I don't know if this means anything or if that's just their cards they like. The fool. 
the moon, and then the sun. I don't know if that means anything, guys. Otherwise, it's just like somebody's stash of goodies. But that's what it seems like to me, is that these people, they literally have like little caches like this and stuff. And if you look at stuff like this, Braden, like straight up, like I've talked to people about this stuff, like ex-cons, runaways and things like that. That's what they do. They'll have like little caches full of goodies like this. I'm surprised, bro. I'm surprised we didn't find any drug paraphernalia, eh? I really am, but I mean, like, maybe it's not that type of cult. Like, maybe they don't, like, I mean, like, that's what I'm assuming, though. I'm assuming that they are ex-cons, runaways, and then they had some sort of leader. Like, you know, like, remember the Charles Manson stuff? Yeah, but what's the reason for this photo? <laughs> this photo? I don't know. Like, it almost you know, seems to me like bragging rights, like, don't f*** with us. Do you know what I mean? It looks like some sort of momentum, like... Because it, it signs like somewhat, like someone's hit list. Hit list? Let me see. Children of the Stars. Like, you know what I mean? And in the back. When I say that, it's almost like someone was... I don't know. Like, do you mean like they wanted these people dead? Yeah. I mean, and this is only three people. Like, we don't know how big, the, how big this cult could be. Yeah. Like, there could be a lot of people. Yeah, we keep hearing, like, a car, like... That's a dog. Yo, there's a dog. Yeah, I hear that too, dude. Yeah, this is just wild that we found all this shit, though. I can't believe we got all this on tape, dude. Like, I've never... I've never come across... Other, I don't want to put it back, though, because I honestly don't want to get stabbed tonight. Like, this is... Somebody is probably coming back for this. That. Which is even eerier because if it's the dude with the dog, I definitely don't want to be here right now. Wait, I'm kind of so having a panic attack. This is set up so like someone can escape. That means we need an exit. But what if it's not even that, dude? Like, what if? But if it is, though. Yeah, I know. On the sheer chance that this is an escape capsule kind of thing. Yeah. We are near an exit. We have to be, because I mean, we're, we're hearing, hearing planes, we're hearing cars, and... we're hearing dogs. Yeah, yeah. Like, we got to be near an exit, but. I don't want to be like I don't honestly. Speculate too far with this. Oh yet. yeah. Do you but mind like, popping that back in for me? That's a big friggin' knife. Yeah. Like these are. Jeez. I don't know. Like that. Like a little hunting knife or a little survival knife. I don't know. I don't really know what that is, dude. Okay. Yeah, I'll put it back. I literally don't want this person <laughs> after me. Like this is really eerie shit. I'm having oh, anxiety yeah. attack right now. No, it's not. Like, honestly, like, these people might have stashes like this all over, dude. And like I said, I'm actually very surprised that there wasn't drugs in it. Because, I mean, I've, I've done abandoned buildings where we found caches like this. Yeah. And literally, there were drug paraphernalia. I've never seen firearms. That was one thing. I've never, I've actually never seen firearms in, in caches. But I have seen, like, knives, cigarettes. Like, you know, natives? Yeah. When you buy a bag of them. Yeah, we gotta keep going because we have no idea if somebody's coming back to this. I do hope that this guy quit and literally just left this shit here and just saying like, "Oh, here's your shit, like here's your stuff," and that's like, it. Maybe he was one of the children of the stars. Um, yeah, like I think the dude that we saw could have been this. Like, if he's the one that left this stuff, yeah, then maybe he's the this L guy. Who's left his shit. Because they're all going by code. That's what we're finding. Is that these people are going with code names. They're literally going by code. They call themselves different things. The first initial of their name is like a huge thing it seems. Yeah. Things T and R. Yeah. Well and this guy was different. This guy says himself L7. And then it says. A.K.A. The Seven Stars. Or Seventh Star. So maybe he's the seventh member of the cult? Or, yeah, seventh member, seventh born. Yeah. It's just weird. That's all That's all we know. All we're getting from this is just getting weirder and weirder and weirder. I'm just glad that we are... I'm not going to jinx it, but I'm going to say that we're getting closer to being out of, the, out of here. And away from the car, so... Oh, dude, you found the river? We ran the river when we came in. No way, dude. We can... 
We found the river. Oh my god, that's such good news, Brayden. There's a river. Okay. There's a river. Holy shit, dude. Well, what is this? I don't know. What the hell is that? I'm not touching it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not, I'll take a peek a of it. That's a little creepy, bro. Yeah, I don't know, dude. Okay, this is like... I f there's like a little locket on here. It looks like a starfish. What is this? It says, Eden. Like, Isn't that something from the Bible? Yeah, the Garden I'm pretty of Eden. Sure, yeah, the Garden of Eden with like the we're forbidden Adam fruit. Eve, yeah, where Adam and Eve were created. Okay, what is this here? We just found a note. A wild. I don't know. Yo, yo, take the cami. Yeah. I'm just gonna see if I can unravel this without destroying it, because it is a little wet. So cool. I can't believe we we're finding this stuff. This is such this is so weird, bro. There is some sort of note here though. This guys. was set up, dude. This was set up. I think it was by this person that was leaving. You see that on the cami? So it says, "Don't worry about my brother. I took really good care of him." And then at the bottom it says R. Wait. Like Rachel? That's what I'm starting to wonder now, dude. Because the last the What if that was Rachel? Like what if that was Rachel leaving? Because the photograph back there was signed R as well. Yeah, it was. That is really messed up, dude. Okay. You, now I'm getting eared out. I'm getting chills now. Because I'm kind of like, is this person leaving or Nobody is this can person see. waiting to kill us? Hold like, on. I don't know, I gotta man. Turn the, I gotta turn this up so people can see what I'm looking at. That is just freaky as shit, dude. Because, like, this is where we're at right now. Yeah. Finding all this stuff. I like that bracelet. That's kind of cool. What's funny is I think I've seen bracelets like this before. I don't know. I mean, the subs would. I'm I'm in the middle of the freaking woods, so I don't I don't know. But I this looks very familiar to me. So I don't know if this is something that we've seen before in another video, but this is. There's a starfish. Yeah, it's got a starfish on it. This is so creepy, bro. This is so messed up. Should we try to find our way out? I think we should go quietly, and I'm gonna do a cut here only because, like, I think we're gonna go lights out because that dude could just be, like, he could be right up there. He'd be right around the corner. He could be right up there ready to jump us, so we're not gonna be able to go on lights up there. No. All right. All right. So, lights out. We're gonna go lights out for a little while because we have to make sure that this is safe to even get out of here, guys. I'll be back in a bit. All right, guys, so we're following the river now. Um, we're freezing. We do think that we're getting closer and closer to being out of here, so that's a really, really good thing. We've been finding weird trinkets that we believe that this person is leaving behind for us to find. Like, we're actually... I've never had this doing Randonautica. Like, I think we're actually catching a person leaving shit. Yeah. Like, leaving stuff. And this is what's been going on since the very beginning using Randonautica. Like, this is insane, dude. dude like Alright. We're getting too close. Let's get out of here, dude. We're getting close. Stick so to the like, river, Ben. Yeah, stick to the river here. Yeah. Like, going down the hill. Yeah. That's kind of where we came. I know, like, this is just getting weird. <sighs> Fudge, man. This place just ears the shit out of me, dude. Yeah. I don't know what to think out of all this. Trail marker. Is that an exit? Is it? Trail marker yo, there. Yo, 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 yo. yo, did you find something? The tape here. No freaking way. You found a tape, dude? There's a tape. Uh, Brayden, get off the truck, get off the truck, get off the truck. Do you see it? 
Sorry, Brian. Sorry, Brian. We got out. We actually got out of the forest, dude. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so happy I'm gonna cry. That was brutal. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Props, dude. Really sure Props, dude. Oh right. man. Oh man. Oh man. I can't believe this stuff. I can't believe this. These, these sickos, dude. He was waiting there to jump us. So he was, he was waiting there the whole time to jump us. That's why I said I didn't know. I literally thought there's a few options. It could have been this person that was quitting by the looks of things that they're just leaving. Yeah. Otherwise, like it's a trap. That was definitely a trap. Definitely a trap. And look, it's like a quarter moon outside. Yeah, I know. We just have to get to the car. We found one more tape. I know, one more tape. We're gonna play it at the exit. I can't believe this. I'm taking a break from this forest because this is this is just this is getting to me. Like that was unbelievable. I cannot believe what's going on in here. I know. It's gotta be like, bro, it's gotta be at least 4 a.m. It's four gotta five be. Five o'clock in the morning, I don't know. I know, dude. Doing. We were in there for hours. Like that was crazy. <sighs> and look at how look at this steep slope we have to go down. I'll show you how this is. I'll just try to I'll try to brighten the light here. This thing is steep as shit. Oh, yeah. Steep as shit. Yeah, this is here. Oh. You okay, bro? Yeah. I know my anxiety, my tensions are high. Oh. I did not expect that at all. Oh my god. He was waiting right at the front. So he left that tape. He literally left that tape for us to find it and then he was gonna jump us. Yeah. See what I mean, man? Like, you can't write this shit. You can't write this stuff, man. This is the craziest Let's see what's the tape. Friggin' witch, like, or whatever that was that we saw. Oh my god. I've honestly never gotten this much action in Antarctica. Like, I must have, I, I think we have like two and a half hours of film or something. I don't really know. I don't really know. Well, we gotta go. So long, you prick! Fuck you! <laughs> oh my god. 
I'm so sorry though, I flew off the handle there though, bro. Uh, when I get lost in the forest and shit, like I swear like a trucker. Oh, it's that's okay. the Irish in me, bro. We're out. That's I know, matters. that's all that matters. Oh boy. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. We're alive. That's all that matters, man. That's literally all that matters doing this is that you're alive and well because of the dangers that come with it. I can't imagine, like, I want to go to the States. And it's funny because I was talking to this uh, lady. She's, she's a fan of ours, yeah. works for Google, and she told me, be careful. And I'm like, why? And she's like, do you think this is dangerous here? The States. And I'm like, oh, frig. Like, doing the type of content we do, right? So... I can only imagine how bad it is in different places. Right? Yeah, I know. I like. I mean, we take precautions. We do. Sure, we really try our best. We take precautions. Oh boy. I know, dude. That's too much. You can't write that stuff. You can't write it. Oh my god. The car. This is great. A skunk? Yeah, I just watched the car through. Oh, fuck shit. I'm just so happy we found the car, man. Yeah. I'm so happy that we found the car. I was like, I was about to cry. I'm like, I can't believe we found the exit. And you know what's funny? What? The first time I went hiking here a long time ago. And I literally, I got lost. This freaking girl I was talking to, I came out of the woods. And she's like, I was lost in here for four or five hours once. And I'm like, are you joking me? But I think what got us lost is Randonautica. Yeah. I really do because we kept ending, we, we literally kept ending up in like a spontaneous loop around the woods. So, I know, dude. I know, bro. Like, it's, it's just been a really weird night. A really, really weird night, but we're happy we came. We got to the car finally do this we're gonna view this tape whatever that is I don't really know but yeah we found the car man yup oh fudge props to that dude we're alive we made it we made it and we have all this footage to go over I can't wait man I can't wait that's the biggest thing is that you can just have a good laugh after all this is done because like that was crazy that was so crazy. I know, dude. It is literally like, it's literally got to be like 4.30 a.m. or something, dude. I can't believe we found our way out. I know. I can't believe it either. So anyways, guys, we're going to view that tape back in the car and see what we get out of that. Uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us on this Starseed series. Um, I definitely, I definitely want to try someplace brand new. <laughs> this is too much for me, man. That was, that was way too close. Too many close calls and dangers here. I know. Yeah, pretty much. That's pretty much it, dude. Got to get the hell out of Dodge, eh? Sorry, my camera just keeps losing focus. But we're going to view that tape in the car, and then we'll get back to you guys, all right? All right, peace. All right, guys, so we're back at the car now. That's better. <laughs> Oh my god, uh, this is definitely going to be a story to tell our kids. <laughs> like, that was crazy, eh, dude? I am 100% not okay with what just happened. Who, who, who do you think this dude was? Like, that's what I want to know. No clue. I mean, we found a note that st stated, like, you know, like, obviously this group, they're getting tiresome. They don't have a leader, apparently, from what we're seeing. Maybe they're disbanding. Yeah, like it almost seems like it almost seems like they're falling apart. And this photo of it we only had three people on it. So maybe there's only three left? I don't really know. I don't know like by this one name, like he went by seventh star. I don't I have no idea I don't know what that means, if that means anything. There was an L dot and then seven and then he says like AK seven star. They all have that's what I mean. They all have either code names or nicknames or things like that but we're gonna play this tape we found this this dude literally left all this crap here he literally left all of this stuff on the trail which is really really wild alrighty I'll give you the cams I'm gonna play this sucker I have no idea what to expect out of any of this this is just 
this is just getting weirder and weirder and weirder as we go. I'm just honestly, I'm I'm only calm because we survived. Like we made it out of there. I literally thought we were done for because when you're le when you're left in woods like this overnight, you know you got 24 hours, you got 48 hours, and then people are looking for a body. You know what I mean? Like it's not, yeah. like it, and it's been getting colder at night. We've had we've had frost warnings in Canada. Like that was really crazy that we were able to make it out, but. We did find these things. We found this tape. We'll see what this is, guys. All right. If you feel like you don't belong here, or resistant to authority, and feel like you have a purpose, you may be a starseed. I feel like I'm not from Earth. I want to go home. Now listen. The both of you are in grave danger. Don't worry about me, B. I am neither here nor there. I am someplace better now. Someplace peaceful. Me and the others are merely walk-ins, transported from the sites of our deaths, in starlight. Listen, starseeds, you must stop the hostiles at all costs. They wish only evil and darkness to be plagued across your world. You must not give in to temptation. I am friend and ally to you. Don't let your god down. That is weird. Who was that? It's almost like it that referred like an... to us as star seeds, though. Did you see that? Like the the both of you? Yeah, that we're in grave danger. Who is the person at the end of this trail? This is what I want to know now. That left this. And like, like is E a bad guy? Like I don't get it. I thought I heard E. Let me see this again. Let's replay this. I don't. I thought I heard something. That's so weird. Okay, we're well, gonna play this one more time. Yeah, I'm just gonna turn that off. So hopefully, you guys can hear this. I just turn this too. Turn that off. I'm get it quiet in here. If you feel like you don't belong here, are resistant to authority, and feel like you have a purpose, you may be a starseed. I feel like I'm not from Earth. I want to go home. It's like they're re-recording. Something. Now listen, the both of you are in grave danger. Don't worry about me, B. I am neither here nor there. I am someplace better now. Someplace peaceful. Me and the others are merely walk-ins, transported from the sites of our deaths, in starlight. Listen, starseeds, you must stop the hostiles at all costs. They wish only evil and darkness to be plagued across your world. You must not give in to temptation. I am friend and ally to you. Don't let your god down. That is so weird. That was just... But it's almost like somebody's speaking to us beyond the grave. Like, do you know what I mean? The way that they worded it? The end, that end paragraph? Or like they wrote it out and like recorded it before they before died. Before they died? Yeah. Oh my god. This is just so... This is freaking me out because this is probably the... This is probably the scariest tape I've ever had. That's with the cool. with this like you know answering machine kind of voice like that is just creepy as hell yeah and that whole both of you are in grave danger thing like... that scares me yeah like that's like a warning yeah. but it like from what i get from the tape from this tape is that it's an ally right that's what they said but why the hell would some you know what i mean if the person that if the if that person with the light was an ally why the hell would they come after us you know what I mean? Like, they were hunting us, were whoever they, this is. Were they hunting us, or were they trying to get us out? I don't know. I mean, like, it's like we don't we didn't see any weapons on them or anything like that. We just saw a flashlight. Yeah. That's just, that's the weird part we about it. we into a few people, and, like, that one had quite a few chances to... Well, and the thing is, we were technically following them. Yeah. I mean, we were on our way out. We were trying to get our. We were trying to get out. Yeah. But the fact is, the matter. The fact of the matter is, they like we were following them this time. To be fair, they did lead us to the exit. Yeah, they did. Like 
On, uh, doesn't it feel like that? Like, it feels like they left a trail of Easter eggs yeah. to the exit, which is what we were following. I mean, we're like, just keep following the trail. Keep following the river. Yeah, and remember you were saying, like, I've never found this many clues. Like, no, I've never found this many. Like, I, honestly, like, this is li literally, this is after random nodding. We were not even using the freaking app to yeah. come out. We just wanted to get our, we just wanted to get our asses out of there. We were like, we've had it. We've had enough. We need to go home. And that was it. Mm -hmm. But once we got, I'm guessing, like, we got close enough, it was like, so we don't get lost again, whoever it was, is, like, leaving this trail of breadcrumbs to the exit. That's what it seems like. And that was the final, like, <sighs> hey, I got your back kind of thing, just like... I know, but why would they run, they ran at us at the exit? I mean, unless they were trying to find us, unless they were trying to... Maybe they were just excited to get us out. Yeah, like, that's what I'm starting to wonder. Like, is this an ally? I don't know. I really don't know. I get I get eared out because I'm like, I don't know what to think of all this. And, and out of all of it, that like, one who note, can you trust, like, out of, like, all these people that are hunting us down? Yeah, how can you trust us? people that conceal their faces, like, with burglar masks? Like, you know, bank robber-style masks that hide their identity. Yeah. They've got weapon caches. They hold weapons. They try to kill people. Who do we know, like, is a friend or, like, you know, a foe? we don't know anything. We don't know. We don't know anything. And the biggest thing is, like, I keep thinking, like, okay, like, are these people dead? Like, or are some of them dead? You know what I mean? But this is getting weird, man. Like, this is so weird. Is our Rachel, like, I don't know. I really... I it really almost seems not. like somebody, you know, like, they're saying, like, oh, we did you a favor... You know, we killed, uh, they killed somebody. Somebody said they had killed their brother. Or they took, they took, they took care of their brother. They took good care of their brother, yeah. And Rachel and Toby were wow. relatives. We do know this. We do know this. And, but usually when I did find a note, when I did find a note with Rachel, it would, like, she wrote Rachel. You yeah. know what I mean? There was no code names. There were no letters. There were no initials. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? This is just. This is just so... I don't know what to think of this. I'm I'm really confused. I'm really confused. I don't know... I don't know if we have an... I don't know if we have enemies. I don't know if we have allies. I don't really know. I just know that this whole Starseed business is not for me. Like, this is really weird. Like, this is something that a friggin' cold case detective should do. Somebody should, like, look into this shit. And it's funny because when I gave this to the cops, they just thought, they just literally thought that we we're just laughing stuff. They're like, oh, oh, oh. like, we, unless you have like sufficient evidence to state like these were real people or whatever, they don't, you got nothing. Mm -hmm. I even said, like, do you have anything on like a missing person like Rachel, um, Toby, Charlie? Because these are the names that we keep coming across, which is really, really weird. But yeah, like, I don't know what to think of this. <laughs> like, what are you, like, what are your thoughts on this, man? Like, this is weird. Honestly, I think that last... I think this tape is yeah. our clue that that guy was trying to get us out of there. But the rest of the people in there, I don't know what their intentions were. Like hunting us down, killing yeah, us. us. I think we were sport to them. Mm -hmm. I'm really starting to wonder, too, if like we could have been like ended up being ritual sacrifices or some shit, man. Yeah. Like they were they were making they were making plans. They were planning stuff. And I do know for a fact that I think we saw four of them all together throughout the beginning of this film to the end of it. I believe that we saw four of them. This guy calls himself Seventh Star. So that makes me wonder if that's if that's seven members so far. There could be a whole freaking lot of them out there, man. And that photo, like, these people mean business. They're carrying knives. Mm -hmm. They got... The, that's why I'm saying that they could be... We think that they could be ex-convicts living off the grid, living on the land. Me and my buddy. So, like, me and my buddy. Let's see my boy's name right here. I get his name wrong sometimes. So, like, I feel, I feel so shitty. But anyways, we did a lot of detective work. We will be doing... We will be doing either a podcast... Or a live stream, me, Brayden, and this dude because we literally, yeah, Brian, that's his name. So my boy's name's um, Brian Condi. Oh, he goes by Andrew Condi. I I thought it was Andrew too. 
Okay, well, Andrew or Brian Condi. I always go by Andrew because that's what is on on Instagram. But um, anyways, me and him, he's a good, he's a big fan of ours. We literally hashed out for hours on this investigation from start to finish who these people are. But that's what we came up with because he told me like, you know, past present stuff like knowing people bumping into people that like convicts do this sort of thing they live off the grid they hide they hide weapons they you know what i mean they keep low profiles mm -hmm. things like that so what they're doing out there i i don't know like i i don't wish it on my own kids man like i would not want to be living out there in the middle of the wilderness I mean, they had a book on edible plants. We found that next to the weapons cache. Yeah. But to make sense, too, like, that they don't carry guns. Because, look, knives are low profile. Yeah. I mean, like, if they were to make any sound in these woods... And they're personal. Everybody in this neighborhood would hear them. So for them to hide, like, go in hiding the way they do... And we, like I said, we don't even know if they actually do kill people. But they could, they could f***ing harm you. Yeah. I mean, like, I've heard of gangs, like, they they know where to stab you and stuff, like, where they're not going to kill you, but it's like, yeah, stay the hell away from us, we're territorial, and, like, we don't want you in our business, and this this is our business, their territory. These guys seem to be, apparently they're not that bad during the day, I mean, I almost got stabbed by one during the day. Yeah. Like, that girl, she act. I don't know if you guys, if you play that tape back, she actually went for a jolt, like, I'm going to stab you. And I took off. So, like, I, I know they don't want to be confronted. Like, if they feel like they're backed into a corner during the day, I'm sure they're going to fight. But I think that they're not as bad during the day. You know what I mean? I think they I think they want to be left alone. Maybe they sleep day, daylight hours, and maybe. then maybe they're up at night. Maybe they're kind of, like, nocturnal in a sense. but mm -hmm. Like a nocturnal way, cult. Either way, we know, all we know right now is that we don't know. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, that makes me uneasy. Cause, it like, does. After all of this, we still don't know. After all we've been through, and it's like, I just, I don't know. Like, I feel like, I honestly feel sometimes like I just keep banging, like, we just keep banging our heads against a wall. Like, are we coming close to solving something, or is it just like a bunch of, like, I've even, it's funny, I've even talked to friends, I've talked to Angelo about his stuff with C3, and it's like, we really don't, like we we get bits and pieces of information but we don't get anywhere with it like for once because we've been on this starseed thing for so long i kind of hope that we would find somebody you know what i mean find a mufon member yeah and then and then be able to talk to them and say like hey what's going on At like do you guys need help you know what i mean yeah exactly i mean i do know this okay i do know this when I first started Starseed, we knew of Ellis and Charlie. They were squatters. They yeah. were hiding out in abandoned buildings. Yeah. Because we found everything, all their stuff, man. I found the girls. I found the girls and guys' luggage. All of her belongings were there, with the move on hat. Everything was there. She brought her toothpaste. Everything, her clothing, her, and they literally were squatting out in abandoned buildings. And they were, you know, waiting for members of group and stuff like that. This cult, whoever they are, I think they're completely different. Yeah. Because MUFON is a legitimate group. They're all over Canada. They're in the States. And they, primarily, they're in the States. And they're UFO hunt, mutual UFO network. They, they go UFO hunting. They want to prove the government wrong, that there's the existence of extraterrestrial beings. And, you know, UFOs, like spacecraft, right? That's not human. I don't know. I don't know what to say. This cult really freaks me out. They seem to be more like, I don't know. You think they're devil worshippers? Like, I don't know what they are. It doesn't really seem like space, seem space like, related to me. They seem like they worship a deity, but it doesn't seem like the devil. And you think that it's something like, you know how like a lot of people make stuff up, like make gods up, like Could a Charles Manson kind of scenario where it's, it's like they've made their own god up and they're well, just rolling with it? it could even be something more ancient than the devil, you know, mm -hmm. like something passed down. Yeah. But like, like, like I said, we don't know. We don't know. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, please drop your comments in the comment section and let us know what you think. Cause like I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, at, I'm running out of ideas. I don't know. Um, I'm glad. That, like I'm gonna say, I feel so much better that we're out of these woods. But I know that me and Raiden are starving. We're tired. Like we just want to get out of here and to feel that we were being like hunted this whole time and whoever this last person is i don't really know i'm really confused because like yeah we saw the light and we dipped into the woods and then it almost seemed like they came down there looking for us yeah and i'm really glad that they went back into those woods so that we could get the hell out of there so but anyways guys be sure to smash the like button hit subscribe we got a lot more content coming for you